come on. Oh, oh. Alright, I have to do this. Okay. Alright, I'm getting there now. Alright. Oh, shit. Whoa, dude, dude, dude. Holy shit. Oh, jeez. He's a badass. He's fucking fast, man. Yeah. Ah. What is that? He didn't even block those ones and I went through them. What is this? Come on. Get in there. Ah. He's got the same thing as me. Ah. You like that? Sort of way. Whoa, <laughs> tough guy, Virgil over here. I will be sorry. You didn't even use your sword. Oh, 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 he is using his sword. <coughs> yeah, that's right. Ha! Ah, fight me now. Oh, timing is key here. <coughs> Maybe not. Oh shit. You're really slow there, Virgil. You let me hit you. It's not too late. Come on. Yes, it is. It's way too late. For you, Virgil. Come on, get in there, don't I? Oh, I can't use Devil Trigger. Wish I could. Yeah, how do you like me now? What? Look. Wait, did he regain health? Am I crazy? No. He didn't regain health. Sit down, asshole. Oh, it'd help if I could see. That would be useful. Ah, the devil trigger. Nice. Oh, 
Yeah. Oh yeah. You like that, Dante? Virgil is dead. Fought the good fight, buddy. But you're dead. What? Oh no. Seriously? Just critically wound him, don't I? Don't kill him. Oh shit. Are you serious? He's pretty much dead. Mm, you're lucky. Is his hair still white now? I never noticed. Did, did his hair turn white earlier? Shit. It's white now. Yeah, it is. Cool. The world is under my protection now. You've chosen the wrong side. You're not human, Dante. The world is under my protection. You never will be. <laughs> what a good guy. Humanity, fight for freedom. Fight for the right. I knew Virgil was a bad guy. His betrayal would come, and it did come. I loved you, brother. Oh, boy. Yeah, they're mad at each other. Excellent. You're a good guy. You are Dante. Nothing more and nothing less. And he gives a shit now. And you have white hair. That's all that's important. Whoa, dude. Wow. Alright. That was awesome. So, this is Colin Sherwood or Stark Opportunist on Twitch TV and YouTube. And this is the end of the DMC Devil May Cry 5 playthrough. Thank you for watching. Now I'm going to talk for a bit. This is a pretty pretty good game. Like I said throughout, um, <laughs> really excellent like level design and uh, like the aesthetics are great. Character, you know, character design is good too. Textures are really nice. Everything's really high quality. Really stylistic, obviously, because it's Devil May Cry. Devil May Cry is anything, it's style. Um, but yeah, like, yeah, all the levels, it's, it's shown it right now, like all the concept there and all that. It's great. It's really wonderful. Um, that was... They're fighting in the office there, that's great. Um, Really, yeah, solid mechanics. Combat never really gets old. It's, uh, you know, some of the enemies are frustrating. I'm sure on a higher difficulty they'd be really annoying. But on easy, everything, you feel like a badass. That's why I chose to play on that, that level of difficulty. Because it's, it's fun, it's fluid, it's quick. Um, yeah, everything was pretty good. Some of the platforming was, you know, timing was a little uh, a little crazy like but I very minor stuff when it comes to the platform story was all good like I mean everybody hated Dante when he was first revealed like at e E3 or whatever it was I think it was a few years ago now uh, or maybe it was one or two years ago at E3 
Uh, they they announced Dante showed a trailer and him flipping off the camera and saying fuck you and all that stuff. He looked like a little punk kid, but you know, I mean, compared to the other games, this is a really solid entry. Like, like really good gameplay, lots of good designs, and a likable character. Even though he was a little shit at the start, he became obviously a hero towards the end. So it was really good. And uh, he became unlikable. Damn. And I was I was just waiting the whole game for that Virgil like betrayal because I knew they're supposed to hate each other. That's like their dynamic. I didn't play Devil May Cry one, two, or even three, but I played four, <laughs> which is probably not. I mean, four is probably the weakest of the f four first entries in the series. But uh, I know enough about you know about the characters that Virgil. You know, eventually was gonna betray him for sure. Um, I didn't realize the whole like superiority thing where he was gonna rule uh, in place of Mundus. I didn't really think of that when the old guy mentioned it uh, before. I thought it was Dante that he was he was expecting to take his place or something. And I guess he kind of did in that respect. Like he's not ruling over them, but he's protecting them. So uh, different role, but. Still, some sort of place. The soundtrack and everything in the game is really good. Uh, you know, metal, I'm not a big fan of. I think it works well with what they're trying to do. Uh, I think I think they tried a little bit too hard to appeal to, like, the younger generation. Like, obviously, with the younger, edgier Dante. He's a little, doesn't give a shit about anybody, that kind of thing. Uh, uh, but it is a coming of age, so it's like teaching him, you know, he becomes a better person through the game, which is a good, you know, it's a good story, it's a good lesson or whatever. Um, but there's that, there's, you know, the whole edgy Dante, the fuck yous and all that stuff, the demons, the, the succubus shouting fuck you, the 13 year old, 1300 year old succubus sounds like a 13 year old, uh, which is funny to me. Uh, there's that. There's all the, you know, the sex stuff in the opening scene is ridiculous with him naked and, and you know, him at strip clubs with girls. and It's it's really trying, you can tell it's trying to appeal to, like, you know, that younger 13-year-old boys, basically, that love that stuff. But it, it, it goes away from that, obviously, as you get farther into the game. But your first impression is like, wow, <laughs> why am I playing this, you know? But then later on you're like, wow, okay, this is great. Uh, and and it, you know, Dante becomes a hero. He becomes a good guy. Someone you, you came, you went from this asshole kid to like this really mature, you know, friendly guy. So I guess it's a good lesson for any thirteen-year-olds to do it and playing this game. Uh, and it made it the game a whole lot bearable, a lot more bearable for those that are a little bit older, a little bit more mature that were expecting that kind of thing in the game. So. Win-win, I think, for everybody there. Um, geez, this is a really long thing. It's hard to talk to myself for this long. Um, yeah, so I mean, basically that's it. Like, DMC 5 sort of reinvented the game. I don't know how... I think it's... It's definitely a new beginning, so there'll probably be another one. In the in the same chronology, it'll be like DMC2 or whatever. If the game sold well, which I'm thinking it did. I mean, it should. It's got the name behind it and all that, but it, I don't know. It's good to me, so it got good reviews. So I'm sure I'm sure there'll be another one. Capcom loves money, so uh, I'm sure they'll make another one and explore what the heck happens after this. Like, where do they go from there? Kill a demon king. I'm sure there's more demons. Uh, they certainly made enough before. There was four games, so there's always something to fight. So yeah, if I was to review this game. Which I, you know, I sort of just did. Like, 
I wouldn't say, I don't have any major complaints with the game, like, a little bit of annoying fights near the end, I think, I think the fights get a little bit worse near the end, and I think the level design get a little bit worse towards the end as well. I think there was some really great creative stuff at the start, and it sort of, you know, it sort of dragged on a little bit at the end. Uh, not so much that it was long, but just so much that they, the effort was a little bit lacking. I don't know. It didn't seem as as ni as fresh at the end, whereas all the earlier levels felt super fresh, super fun. Lots of enemies, that kind of thing. Smaller groups of enemies later towards the end that were a little bit more annoying to fight. But everything else, all the gameplay mechanics were solid. Combat didn't get too old because there was new stuff you could play with all the time, unlocking new weapons. Uh, and I, you know, I've already said what's good, what's bad. So I, I'd say, you know, it's a four out of five, I guess, for me. Yeah, it's a really good game. You know, really polished. Def, yeah, you know, definitely a little bit of a slump at the end, but that's why I'd say it's a definitely, it's it's a solid four, I'd say. I wouldn't say it's a five. Not perfect. Not a perfect game by any means, but you know. And I mean, oh, that part of the end where you have to go like start four generators down four different pathways. Like that was just pure like adding on to the game, like adding time. I don't know if that's really necessary. I think that was kind of a useless section. They could have done something different if they really wanted to add time. Maybe add a twist or something. I don't know. But it was just like, okay, let's start the generator, let's align the stuff. But I guess Devil May Cry has probably done that before, too. I seem, I think I remember doing some, like, that was the only puzzle in the game, right? Yeah. I've done that before in, in Devil May Cry 4, for sure. Before, before, Devil May Cry, anyway. <laughs> Alright. Ah. So, that's pretty much it. Savage. Oh, Not very long of a cord here. This is my dog, Zuko. He is a Shiba Inu. Even though this is totally relevant to everything. I'm just gonna continue. See what happens. We've completed Devil May Cry. New mode and lock, son of Sparta. With brand new remixed enemy setup and behaviors. Try this new difficulty level next. New costume lock, white hair Dante. Access costumes, blah blah. So he's got white hair. Yeah. So that just happened at the end after his double trigger. Crazy thing there. Um, yeah, I do want to say I did play this on easy, but I didn't play with the that assist thing, the auto assist or whatever that's been popular since I don't know Bayonetta came out. I think they did the same thing. Metal Gear Rising, the same thing. This is the same. Never used it. I don't want the game to play itself. I just do want you know. You know, easy difficulty because it's like I said. I want to feel like a badass. I don't want to retry fights all the time. You know, maybe I'm not that good. That's okay. I want to have fun with Devil May Cry, and I did. I think it was great. Oh, <laughs> I think if I played on extreme or hard or whatever, I never finished the game. Take forever. I get frustrated. So, anyway, this has been. Devil May Cry 5 DMC I don't even know if you can call it 5 but it is DMC and uh, we're done pretty much we got some secret missions I could do I'm not going to oh yeah in case you're wondering graphic settings this is what I'm this is supposed to be this is 120 there's this weird glitch on the PC that's like it resets it to 29 I don't know if it's actually running at 120 it's probably not capturing at 120 because that's. I think I'm only capturing at 30 frames per second. But 120 hertz is supposed to be on. 1080p, ultra, all the fun stuff on. So yeah, you can see that. Uh, all this stuff. I'm playing with a PlayStation 3 controller mapped as an Xbox 360, emulated as an Xbox 360 controller. We'll replay the intro sequence. And uh, I think I'm done. So, once again, thank you all for watching. And uh, be sure to like, favorite, subscribe if you really enjoyed this. Or if, even if you enjoyed it a little bit. You know. 
<laughs> so, uh, yeah. Oh. I don't know why I'm doing this again. <laughs>